it's always a buzz going back there at the open. It's St. An Andrews, that's where everything started. It's completely different to any other Lynx golf course you play. You have a lot of Lynx golf courses where you have very high fescue rough and, and just um, a lot of obstacles. St. Andrews, you don't really have that. It's, it's um, more the, the, the bunkers um, and the conditions you get there, the bad wind, the rain, the weather, you got massive greens to eat too. So if you did well the week, you're going to have loads of birdie opportunities. Championship leader, this to finish the day at 12 under. Oh, beautiful stuff, a great round of golf, tricky conditions. I wanted to give myself birdie opportunities. I, I still felt like if I can go out and, and make a few birdies early on, you know, I can shoot a good round. Um, I think key with a big lead is, is to not really worry what the other guys are doing. Keep focus on what you want to do. Uh, get a number maybe on your head that you focus on. Try and get to two, three under maybe on the turn and, and don't play defensive at any time. You know, you, you got to play your shots because it can easily around that golf course. If you had one or two bad tee shots, you found bunkers, you can, a five shot lead can change um, in two or three holes. The fifth hole, on the Sunday, I didn't need a good second shot. I'd, I'd, I'd sort of hit this lowy, hooky three wood left of the green and and walked up to it and I saw the guy standing and it was really thickish grass. And, and you know, I thought this is all where I got to be careful now of, of making a bogey because it's a par five, Paul's probably going to make a birdie. They had 30 yards to the front and ended up having 90 something to the pin. And I hit the shot out the, out the thickish grass that released and ran and you know it probably took forever to get there but I had a pretty good one to 20 or 25 feet. I missed the putt but um, that was a key moment I felt just to not get myself too far um, or let Paul get close to me. Then I hit that tee shot on nine. I had to make birdie there. Paul was already on the green. He was going to two putt. I needed to make birdie to not to get him within two shots. Oh, yes. Matches Casey blow for blow. Nothing you can do. There's Casey's eagle putt inside that of Casey's. And then I made the eagle putt. Um, I didn't expect to make it. And, uh, you know, it, was, it wasn't a tough putt, it was pretty straight, uh, but it was a long putt and um, I made the eagle and he ended up making a six or seven footer for birdie. Then nearly made another birdie putt on 10, made a good par putt on 11 and then the 12 hole changed everything. It was a tough tee shot on any day 12, um, it's a hole where I take driver. Um, any other club brings the bunkers into play for me, I try and get it as close as possible to the green. And I had a good shot, did a great second little uh, pitch and, and made the birdie. And unfortunately, you know, the ball hit in the left and, and made that triple, which, uh, which changed the game for me completely. After my tee shot on 18, I sort of took everything in. I had a nice walk with my caddy and looked at everyone and saw all the South African flags and, you know, people out there. And, and then you sort of take it in, you know, um, I didn't even read that first putt. I just putted up to somewhere on the right there and just finish off to, to get off the green and then just get hold of the trophy. The champion golfer of the year is Louis Bustos. Oh, that's, that's sweet. <laughs> it's, a, it's a really good, um, you know, it's something you dreamed of, you thought of one day having in your hands and um, I think it's everything and more what you what you dreamt of. Having South Africans before me, Gary Player, Ernie, um, Bobby Locke, it's just a trophy that you really wanted your name on and yeah it's, it's just a great thing to I think to say that you've you've won the Open. <laughs>